Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back. We are camping right now outside of Sedona. We've been boondocking for a little while. It is beautiful out here. Um, we met up with our friend Zach on our way north to Wyoming. Um, he knows the area really well. So we've got a really great campsite. It's gorgeous, we're on the edge of this beautiful little cliff and we're looking out over um, just beautiful scenery. And so today we're gonna go hike. You know we like to hike? We like to paddle board, there's no paddle boarding today. Um, but we're gonna go hike Bell Trail. It's a seven mile hike out and back and there's some water along the way. The dogs are gonna be happy. It's gonna be a warm day, starting out with a sweatshirt this morning, um, but it's gonna be a nice and warm day so that water's gonna feel awesome. And uh, hopefully there's a ton of it there. Dogs will be thrilled to be out on the trail, getting good hikes in. Uh, it's just a beautiful place to be. Again, we're just outside of Sedona on our way, well, slowly on our way up to Wyoming for the summer. So we made it to a place called The Crack. The dogs got to go swimming. It's a little too cold for me and I'm too old to jump off rocks and break my leg four miles from the car and then however far from the hospital. No adventure left in me except a little bit of hiking.
So it's a three and a half mile hike to get out here. And uh, there's a really quick way to get back. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the quick way to get back where you don't actually have to hike three and a half miles. Woo, let's do it. You ready to do it? Yeah. Well, that hike wiped me out. What do you say, Bride? I'm exhausted. <laughs> I think it took more out of me than I thought it was going to. And, and it wasn't that hard of a trail, but I guess just the length of it. Yeah. We haven't hiked like that in a while, and uh, it, it was crazy. Got back, fed the dogs. We didn't feed the dogs a whole lot before we left, so they were starving for breakfast. We came back and pretty much passed out. I mean, I don't remember falling asleep. Mm -hmm. I remember climbing in bed and sitting there having the fan on, and the next thing I know, I woke up three hours later. So it was a really awesome trail. Definitely recommend it in the area. Um, and now we're gonna go do something really cool as well, which is to go check out Montezuma Well. Um, and that was a very important gathering point for Native Americans many, many, many years ago. And uh, so there's a lot to go see and do over there. We're camping in the same general area. So we're gonna pile into Zag's van again and we're gonna go head on over there and see what's up. You look like you're going fishing. It's cause I'm going fishing. Going fishing? Yeah, I'm going fishing. Picked up our Arizona fishing license and we're gonna hit the water today with Zach before we say farewell. He's got a good little fishing spot for us. Haven't gone trout fishing. All the time we spent in Wyoming, never once went fishing. So. We need to change that. Let's change that. We're gonna change that when we get to Wyoming, but now we're in Arizona. We're in Sedona. Sedona is crazy beautiful with all the, the mountains red and stuff rocks. around, the red rocks around. Um, it is not RV friendly, so we're just stopping in for the day and then we'll be moving on to one of our favorite places, Old Wally World and Page, yep. up near Utah. But we've spent a lot of time there. We have. It's, it's like a second <laughs> home on the road. Not quite. But anyway, we're going to go fish now and we're going to take you along. Let's go see what we catch. Hopefully what we catch. Well, Lindsay and I got shut out, Zach didn't, but what a beautiful place to picnic and spend a couple hours. It's gorgeous. It's right up the 89A from uh, Sedona on the way toward Flagstaff. Beautiful drive, beautiful road. 
we're gonna head back, pick up our RV, and then we're gonna make this drive on our own on our way up to Page. No fishing, Page. This is unbelievable. Sedona is beautiful. I would never live here. I couldn't afford to live here. If you live here and you can afford to live here, that's awesome because this place is amazing to look at in every direction. Uh, absolutely incredible. But it's not so fun to drive an RV in or around or through or to try to camp. So we're gonna make our way on out of here. But in the meantime, look at these beautiful mountains. I forgot to say the most important thing. 89A from Sedona up into Flagstaff is I'd say top five most beautiful drives that we've seen in tens and tens of thousands of miles of driving the United States, Canada, and Baja. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and dash cam it for you. You should see that right about now. Who wants to sleep at a Walmart? Not us, not yet. Actually, we don't mind sleeping at Walmarts, but we're not doing it yet. We, we, we skipped on page and we're at, I don't even know where we're at. It's beautiful. I'm gonna show you, Lindsay's opening a gate. We're driving out on the BLM land right now, which is awesome. Part of the reason we love the West, so much great land out here. And we are through the gate. The dogs are a little upset. They think I'm leaving their mom behind. I am not leaving their mom behind. Behind us is Vermilion Cliffs. Um, it's the southern part. It stretches up into Utah, so we're kind of right on the border. The road we just got off was 89. It actually goes up into Kanab, um, but we're gonna backtrack tomorrow or the next day and go back to Page um, a little bit. But my goodness, it's freaking stunning. Dead bug. doing in my seat huh <laughs> get in lady we got some dirt roads to drive in. on yeah let's go let's go let's do this do we need to turn four-wheel drive on yes <laughs> we do not have four-wheel drive don't take me serious We're all set up for camp. We're gonna go check out right along the Colorado River. We're actually, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile off the Colorado River, as close as you can camp in this particular location. There's several um, GPS coordinates on iOverlander and Camp Indium where you can get a little closer. We just picked our track and came down and literally came to the end of the track. And uh, here's where we are. It's freaking stunning. <laughs> <laughs> 